Welcome to this review of Lord of the Rings Online. This is going to be a deep, long review about the MMO, and it's probably going to be filled with all the information you need to play this game or just to decide if you want to play this game. Now, I started playing this game last night, and I've been playing for several hours, so I got the basic gist of it, and I feel comfortable explaining everything about it. First of all, you're going to see a lot of glaring similarities between this game and World of Warcraft. In fact, basically the entire gameplay is almost an exact, exact replica you of World of Warcraft, heart. but obviously it uses the Lord of the Rings lore, which Stay you would think would make the story deeper, because I mean West Tolkien is just basically the inventor of this whole medieval swords and sorcery and dungeons and goblins uh, world that, let's face it, uh, World of Warcraft even ripped off. But I still find myself just skimming through the quest logs. Like, I, I thought to myself, the quests in this game are going to be worth my reading because whenever I play MMOs like this, and they, somebody gives me a quest, I don't really read it, I just kind of press OK, and then I go to wherever the map points me to, and most 99.9% .9 of the quests are basically, you know, kill this or collect this, so I really don't need to read anything. I, I thought this game would be a little different, but it isn't. Uh, I find myself just skimming through the quests, and then just going to where the quest points me on the map, and killing or collecting something, and that's what all the quests in this game are basically like. And that's not en entirely a bad thing, because, I mean, since... World of Warcraft, that's basically what MMOs are, and um, I don't think a lot of people who really play MMOs really read the quest anymore, it's just here. something unnecessary. Maybe right you'll start the game reading the quest log, but, you know, at a certain point, after doing a hundred quests, you're not going to keep reading quests un unless you really want to know the story, and the story of this game isn't really... I, I guess you could say it could be interesting to Lord of the Rings fanatics, and you would read the story, but for everyone else, uh, casual gamers like myself, which I assume is most people, I, I, I wouldn't recommend actually sitting will, will through and reading in? every single quest, because most of them aren't even, aren't even connected to each other, and most of them are just kind of tasks, like go kill some wolves. So the quests are underwhelming, but then again, so are the quests in World of Warcraft. The actual gameplay is where this game shines, and it shines, it, it doesn't just shine, it illuminates. The gameplay, in terms of pure MMO fun, is perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean it's right up there with World of Warcraft. In fact, it's an exact copy of what the gameplay in World of Warcraft is, and like I said, just with Lord of the Rings lore. As is the story. Uh, the story, as I've said, is also just uh, kind of just remedial tasks. Sometimes you'll have an epic quest, but ultimately it's forgettable stuff that just tells you to kill something or collect something. But the fun of the game is actually going to kill or collect something. That's where you uh, get to the actual meat and potatoes of the game, which is the gameplay. And the gameplay is really fun. You obviously pick commands, you shoot, you hit, and of course, you kill your enemies. Now this might, might sound generic, and it is, but it's fun for an MMO person. I mean, this is what MMOs are, people know this is what MMOs are about, and if that's what you love, there's plenty to love in this game. One thing that really overwhelmed me at first was making my character. I couldn't decide what character I was going to get. I settled on this archer archetype. I, I forget what they're called, if they're called archers or rangers or something like that, but basically it's a guy with a bow. But even in archer class, it's not like all I can do is shoot my bow. I'm pretty skilled with, with swords and daggers, even axes, so, you know, it, 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 it does kind of tell me to be a ranged fighter, but you, I can still hold my own up close, which is pretty interesting. I, I don't know if that's kind of ruining the point of classes, but uh, it, it, it's good to know that if monsters are surrounding me, I can still hold my ground, even if I'm just really 
you know, face to face, ass to ass with some wargs. Now, in terms of other classes in the game, there's plenty customization. First of all, there's four races. There's humans, hobbits, dwarves, and elves. Basically, all the good races of Middle Earth. Uh, they all have their special uh, perks and they all have their weaknesses. For example, elves have uh, this great thing where they don't get sick a lot. Like, uh, they have this thing called um, suffer no illness that improves resistance to disease and poison. But they also have this thing called fading of the firstborn, which is uh, something that reduces their fate because, quote, the time of the elves in Middle-earth is nearly at its end. And also, uh, I, I picked an elf for my, uh, it's actually called a hunter, it's not a, it's not, it's, it's not a ranger. I, I picked an elf for my uh, hunter class because elves also have improved agility, which uh, gives them, I believe, plus 15 agility, which is uh, pretty helpful for, 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 a, um, for a hunter. Now, the playable classes are champions, minstrels, lore masters, guardians, hunters, rune keepers, and wardens. And uh, I guess you can pretty much tell what all of these things are. I mean, you could pretty much guess that a uh, captain, for example, is a kind of warrior class. A champion is a kind of warrior class. A guardian is also a kind of warrior class, but is probably more of a defending warrior class, uh, uh, a hunter is more of a uh, range damage class, you know, a, a burglar is a class that's, I guess it's kind of perf perfect for what those short guys, uh, hobbits, uh, just because they're, uh, you know, they work in the shadows, kind of, but not, not in an evil way, like rogues in World of Warcraft, in a happy, happy way, they stab you with a smile on their face. Uh, min minstrels are, are are kind of like, well, I'm not really sure what they are, but uh, they their role in the combat is healers and rune keepers. Uh, that's pretty obvious what they are. They are damage and healers, mages, and uh, wardens are all about defense, also combat class. They're kind of like a a 300 Spartan prototype. And, of course, lore masters are kind of support where um, they're masters of crowd control. There are a ton, a ton of different uh, different uh, things you can play as in this game. And the thing is, uh, I honestly find kind of that there are some of the classes, I think at least four of the classes are basically the same thing. Like in World of Warcraft, there there's the warrior. But in this game, the warrior is divided up into like guardians, champions, captains, and even wardens. You know, there's four different types of warriors and all of them are have their own specific roles. So just in terms of class customization, this game is uh, has a much deeper pool than World of Warcraft. And um, this game is just like World of Warcraft. It's just like World of Warcraft. But there is one thing this game does not reach World of Warcraft's potential in, and that's player versus player combat. I actually ran into a guy in this game. I, you know, I, whenever I see someone else run by me in this game, I'll stop, I'll say hi, try to maybe interview them so they can tell me a little bit about the game. Uh, most of the time I don't really mention I'm making a review, I just say I'm a new player. And sometimes people are actually very nice to stop and talk to me. I, the people in this game are very nice, like World of Warcraft is populated with mostly, you know, teenagers and uh, foreigners who can't speak English or uh, just uh, people who just want to kill you. And uh, this game isn't really that heavily focused on player versus player combat. There's not that much of it. Uh, you, you can actually only make an, another faction that that you're supposed to fight at, uh, I believe, level 10, and you actually need to pay for the game to be the other faction. So, as you'd imagine, there aren't a lot of people that are part of the evil faction, so, th again, with the same line of thought, there just isn't much player versus player going on in this game, which is kind of a shame. Uh, that's, that, uh, that is one hindrance of the game, but... You know, um, I guess you could think of this game as kind of like a, a, 
a non-player versus player server in World of Warcraft, although there is once in a while some player versus player fun to be had, unfortunately not a lot of it. So, you know, if you're all about player versus player, I would point to World of Warcraft. But here's, I think, what actually makes up for that, and that's the fact that this game is completely free. And for a game that's this good, to be basically almost as good as World of Warcraft, and it is almost as good as World of Warcraft, the only place that it doesn't reach World of Warcraft, like I said, is PvP. Uh, it's amazing that it's completely free. You you could pay for a premium membership you, if, and you get like special things, you get perks, but you could enjoy end-level content in this game without play, paying a dime. And um, that's incredibly nice of the game developers. And um, you obviously won't be as the, the, the perfect, powerful hero if you don't pay, but you will still hold your own. And you could easily beat someone who pays for this game, even if you don't. Uh, so, you know, it's it's up to you if you want to pay for this game. I mean, this game is honestly so good. I, I, I'm thinking of just giving them some money just, just out of the the fact that they're so nice to give this entire giant game for free, you know, and uh, uh, honestly, I, I, I feel like if you've even been playing this game for a while, you could start playing it. I, I, I don't see myself becoming entranced in this game and playing it, you know, like, 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 like an actual, you know, fanatic of the game who just plays it like every day or every other day. I won't do that. I, I'll probably play it for a few more days after this review and I'll be done with it, but, uh, I think most people who get to end game content uh, would want to just put a little money into the game and really enjoy everything the game has to offer. And uh, even if they don't, they could still enjoy the game. So it gives you the option. And uh, I think that's uh, that's something great for, I think, younger people who maybe don't have their own credit cards and can't afford to pay, pay for the game or, you know, don't, don't want to ask their parents for money or something like that. So it's... Uh, I, I think that more than makes up for the fact that the player versus player isn't as good in World of War as it is in World of Warcraft, and there is still player versus player, so it's not like it doesn't exist. It's just a, a much smaller, much smaller scaled uh, uh, player versus player type deal than World of Warcraft. When I first started playing, I felt kind of lonely in this game. I felt like there weren't a lot of people, but I, as I progressed. I ran into more and more people, so uh, you shouldn't feel like this game isn't populated, because it, it's a pretty populated game, you know, there are thousands of people in most any server, you'll run into people, there's plenty of people to quest with, to interact with, if, God help you if you want to uh, roleplay, there's plenty of people to roleplay with, you know, and uh, you know, if... Honestly, if you want to roleplay, I can't think of a better place to roleplay than an actual Lord of the Rings themed MMO. Because, damn it, that's like perfect. I mean, World of Warcraft is building its own, you know, um, its own legacy as, as, as a, you know, popular genre of medieval fantasy. But they still aren't up to par with Lord of the Rings. I mean, Lord of the Rings is in a class of its own, and it's really the the backbone and prototype of medieval fantasy genres and uh, this is not a game to miss this is absolutely not a game to miss Lord of the Rings Online is a solid 8.9 out of 10 it's almost as good as World of Warcraft and it's free and it's fun and you have just gotta play it if you're an MMO person you know some of the MMOs I reviewed they had their faults. Like, for example, Free Realms Online. It had the obvious faults of being very easy, being very childish, and basically being a game for children, which is an automatic fault for me. Or I imagine people who play MMOs aren't into playing with, you know, eight year olds online. They want to play with adults because they want that possibility of role playing and really doing hard end game content, which is something you cannot do with children uh, uh, on, your, on your team. Uh, a game like uh, Star Wars Galaxies or something like that, it's also lacking in, the, in a lot of ways. A, a game like uh, Second Life is lacking in a lot of ways. Uh, a game like World of Warcraft isn't lacking in a lot of ways it's because it's the basic prototype of what an MMO should be and it does everything in that prototype genre very well. 
and I could say the same thing about this game. It's not lacking in anything to any great extent, except the PvP, which is completely forgivable because PvP is there. There's just not a lot of it, and uh, you know, maybe that's even a good thing to some people because some people just want to quest and enjoy the world and the scenery and um, and the lore of the game and the fun of the gameplay and they don't want to be interrupted by getting killed every five minutes by some ganker who's camping them Th there won't be any gankers camping you there won't be a lot of them but there are some and um, uh, I, I guess maybe it's even more realistic because imagine you're in a real kind of fantasy middle earth environment are you really going to get like attacked and uh, killed every five minutes of course not that's not realistic you might get into a, a deadly fight to death once a week once a month uh, by this game's time you might run into an enemy a couple of times a day and it's up to you whether you want to fight them uh, I would think you would want to fight them just because it's such a rare occasion you know it's it's like it's like a holiday almost to run into a, an enemy and test your skills so this is not a game to miss. It's very fun, and I completely recommend it. And let's talk about the graphics a little bit. Obviously, the graphics aren't that great. They're not that polished. I have everything turned on ultra high, super high. My graphics are at ultimate capacity, and uh, the game looks good. Don't get me wrong, but it just looks like like a late stage PlayStation 2 game. You know, it's it's nothing new gen about it, but. Uh, I guess the new gen aspect comes into play when you realize how big the game is and how, that everyone basically plays in the same space. Like, even if you go into an instance, people can go into that same instance with you. Like, I had people run through my instance that, that weren't really in my team, just other people that were just running around in the same uh, instance as me. Uh, and, you know, Ready. that takes that takes a lot of... Uh, RAM to to accomplish, but uh, I don't want to give excuses for this game's less than stellar graphics. Do but I do have to say the game is beautiful, even though it doesn't use the best of the best graphical engine. It's still a beautiful game, and the fact that it's a Lord of the Rings game and there's just so much you know stuff from the Lord of the Rings universe, it's just the ultimate uh, fantasy MMO. If you're into the fantasy genre of the of the medieval uh, type, so uh, yeah, it's uh, I, also I have to note that if you've played other MMOs like World of Warcraft or something like that, uh, you'll notice things are basically the same in this game, but it's just that like the names are different. Like um, health potions aren't called health potions, although they heal you. Your health isn't even called your health. Like that green bar on uh, next to your portrait. I forget what it's called, but it's not your health, it's your spirit or something, I don't really remember, but, you know, that's like such a non-issue, you know, it's like, all you have to do to really get into this game is just remember all the new names for all of your uh, attributes, which are basically the same attributes as in any other MMO, they just have different names. Um, this is a really fun game, and I really recommend it, and, um, well, hey, play it tell me what you think about it if you've played it tell me what you think about it uh, if you're uh, interested in playing it I'll be happy Ooh, to answer any of your questions in the comments um, so yeah thanks for watching goodbye my friends